Michael Chavello, broadcaster, writer and sports commentator, has released a new book called The Commentators, 100 Years of Sports Commentary. A look at the greatest sports commentators and calls in history. Michael, good morning to you. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Russ. Great to be on with you. Hey, I haven't uh, read anything associated with your book because I wanted to keep a fresh mind. Um, I'm trying to think of the top of my mind, great bits of sports commentary. Mm. Um, do you believe in miracles? Did that get a run? Oh, of course. I think that's top three of all time. Al Michaels, do you believe in miracles? 1980 Winter Olympics Games. Uh, you know, he waited until the final five seconds. And that iconic call from Al Michaels uh, still lives in most American memories as the most important sports call of all time. And, of course, spawned a movie of the same name. Uh, it's definitely one of my top three of all time. It is featured in the book. And, Michael, do you um, try and divide in the book commentary that may be spontaneous versus commentary that's scripted? I do make the clarification because a lot of commentary, most of it is spontaneous, so I can speak from experience, but there are people who do script what they call headline comments. So often when you find in any sport, when a, a big event happens, a climax happens, the commentator already has a pre-prepared statement that they'll read in their iconic voice. And uh, we have a lot of experts who contribute to the book, the likes of Vin Scully, who I believe is the greatest commentator of all time, uh, Peter Drury, the great soccer commentator, Tim Neverett, who commentated the uh, LA Dodgers, the World Series last year, um, a lot of guys from around the world who also say that they have scripted comments over time that they've used in their headline calls. So I do make that distinction also in the book. That's a very good distinction to make. For, for, um, Maccabi uh, Diva, a champion becomes a legend. Um, a great call, no, but, no, but scripted. That, that, one is, that one is actually in there, Ross. You're right, that's scripted. Greg Miles is a contributor to the book. Right. Greg, no. of course, a, a world record 36-time caller of the Melbourne Cup. Good but Lord. what happened with Greg was he, he says that the night before the Melbourne Cup, he was chatting to Bruce McAvaney on, on another radio show and Bruce said on the cuff, he said, well, I'm sure that no matter what happens tomorrow, if Maccabi Diva wins, Greg Miles has a comment prepared for it. And Greg actually didn't have a comment prepared. So he went home that <laughs> night. Greg went through his old files and he heard one of his old calls about something about a legend. And so he worked that into that infamous call, a, a champion becomes a legend. And a I, I champion that. becomes a legend! And, of course, uh, 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 was it Baz this year? In order to become a legend, you have to beat a legend. That will have been scripted by Baz. I'm trying to think of the top of my head great unscripted moments. Certainly, Leo Barry, you star Absolutely. by quarters would have been unscripted. Yeah. Well, let, let me tell you, I think one of the best unscripted ones was Cheek Anderson's call of Secretariat winning the 105th Belmont Stakes when he said he's moving like a tremendous machine. I mean, if you could hang commentaries in a museum... Sheik Anderson's call of Secretariat, what he won by 25 lengths. No, 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 Michael. Yeah, hanging up there. 31 lengths. <laughs> <laughs> Secretariat won. The official winning margin was... Th if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favour. Get yep. on YouTube oh. and search Secretariat Belmont Stakes. And that is a brilliant, brilliant call. Michael, do any cricket commentators make it? Well, of course, I've got almost a whole chapter there on Richie Benno. I think everyone agrees that he's one of the finest of all time, the late Richie Benno. Bill Laurie also features in there. John Arlett's in there. Alan McGilvray features in there. You know, a lot of Alan McGilvray's early work was fake commentary. He wasn't actually at the games. There were, you know, telegraphs that were sent, and he was using sound effects and describing, really using fiction to describe what he thought the shots would look like and the balls would look like. So there's a whole chapter on how back in those days, they used to use, you know, fake commentary mm. piped in fr from telegraphs that were brought in from, from Lords and all the other cricket grounds. Michael, um, I had I'd, I'd only lined up with Damien one bit of sports commentary, and it is from the world of cricket and is one of the great cricket callers. I wonder whether, have a listen, whether the, the bit of commentary that ended like this got a run. He knew exactly what was going to happen. He tried to step over the stumps and just flicked a bail with his, with his right he hand. He to try to do the splits over it, and unfortunately uh, the inner part of his thigh must have just removed the bail. Yeah, it just, just didn't quite go his leg over. <laughs> anyway, he, the classic and it leg goes over on. commentary. Yeah. The classic leg over commentary. Just failed to get the leg over. <laughs> and it actually... Yeah, it. The commentary goes all right for about a minute yes. after that, and yeah. then it completely disintegrates <laughs> at the end. It's so good. Yeah. Well, yeah, Brian Johnson, surely... Oh. What other Australians get around? Oh, so many. One of my favourite Australians, guys, was, uh, you'd remember him, George Gurlusic, the late George Gurlusic. Uh, his call of Ben Johnson's 100-metre Olympic sprint in Seoul in 88. I mean, George used just 53 words, nine sentences in under 10 seconds, 
at a rate of 330 words a minute. I think it was one of the most outstanding calls of all time. Dennis Cometti's in there. Mike Williamson, the former VFL commentator. Uh, that great call of Malcolm Blight's torpedo punt at Princess Park versus Carlton in the 70s. Uh, Norman Nugget Mays in there, of course. He's a mortal call of the gold, Australia gold, at the, the Olympics and the medley relay. Uh, Greg Miles, Bruce McAvaney, so many Australians in the book. Throw in Tim Lane, Rex Hunt. Oh. Um, good on you, uh, Michael. And never forget, I'm sure Ando would not... And I will tell us you can't use George Grilyzich on his own. It's got to be and. Um, <laughs> and there's an and. And Benny, and Benny Pike. Was yeah, that's what I was after. Was Benny Pike. Yeah. George yeah. and Benny Pike calling the boxing at the Olympics. Yep. Michael, lovely to chat with you. Michael Chavello, broadcaster, writer and sports commentator. The book is called The Commentators. 100 Years of Sports Commentary is available now online through woodslane.com.au or on book depository 